definitely gonna want to buy some more items, some more potions. Welcome. What can I get you today? What will it be today? Too bad. What will it be today? Whoa, five thousand seven hundred and thirty gold. Oh, and we have two thousand gold. Nice. Will that do it? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we're gonna sell Thanks the hell out of that. What will it be today? Will that do it? Anything you can else? only hold three of those at a time. Will that do anything else? That's good to know. Ugh. I don't know if I want to buy that. Because it's 3,000. Will that do it? Yeah, Thanks. let's get one of those. Why not, right? Because we're just wearing elemental heels. Will that thank you? Will that do anything else? There we go. All right, hey. Okay, so we're way up on resources now. Take care. That Moai statue is really helpful. Damn. That was cool. That was a nice reward then for some of that exploration we did. Um, how do we get back over there is my question. She's probably going to go up and through. Let's go explore that section, I guess. Actually, you know what? One thing at a time. Let's do Legion. This way? Yes, it's this way. So we'll just have to teleport to the Garibaldi Temple, find our way around. Should be fine. And then we just run. Like, we don't even need to fight anything down there. We just run to the Legion store. Hopefully it gets us something good. Oh god, it's so far away. I'm gonna run through this whole goddamn level. Alright. You know, we'll make it. We'll go find Legion. So much backtracking, and Hector moves so slowly. Hector's wearing the dark wood green ring. even doing this like gets us you know why did those things still drop evo crystals they're not even that high level
All right, we're so close. We just go down. I don't even remember how long this was. All I remember are level 75 blood skeletons. this actually gets us like stuff and isn't isn't worthless <laughs> even trying to fight them. They're blood skeletons. What am I thinking? They literally can't die. Oh. Uh, yes, let's save, actually. We'll also want to look at what we can craft, because I know I did pick up some, some other materials. I don't know if I actually looked at what I could craft after that. Warhammer, oh nice. Okay, yes. We will make this new armor. Cuirassier, uh, Cuirassier armor, cool. Designed to cover the weak points of the field armor, very easy to use and wear. Neat. be fine. slowly floats down. I'm trying to figure out like what what benefit does that have? Does, does it, do I lose the fight if it gets all the way to the bottom? You know what I'm saying? Fuck him up, Gregory. Okay.
Okay, that lost us a lot of time. <laughs> Oh no, yikes. All right, so we got, I got blown up right, the camera right there. <coughs> but the good news is I have some healing stuff, so. I don't actually think it will be too difficult to actually do it. I do think I might switch to my knuckles though. Or maybe this, maybe this, maybe Dosanga has some better range, I don't know. I'll have to check. Uh, I mean, I guess it has some spinning attacks, right? Alrighty, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Just gotta get up the stairs as quickly as possible. This is an annoying fight. <laughs> Okay, that sucks that I fell. Oh no, but Gregory is dead. We'll summon Mildred. Can she actually time stop this boss? Because if so, that would make things very nice. Nope. Okay, cool, floating barrier, this is actually nice. Oh, okay, well, that, that attack is really bad for this. <laughs> okay, but Mildred's barrier here is pretty solid. All right, let's see what we need to do. I'm gonna equip I guess the Zagnol, right? Why not? Because it has that uh, multi-hit attack. All right, here we go. Yep. Oh. Oh 
almost at phase two. And I haven't even taken damage yet. There we go. <coughs> oh no, Greggy's dead, I forgot. Uh, echo time. This seems like it might be a bad use of our time. That's the that's the guess here. That's the guess here is that maybe not a great use of our time. Ah. I was only going to do it three times, but I guess not. Don't Dalsin me. There we go. I wish the lock-on in this game didn't suck. <laughs> Time to get out the big guns. Nope. All right. So we are definitely not like high enough level to fight this thing. Other, this fight's just gonna be super tedious. I don't know if there's gonna be any need to fight it anyway. It seems like kind of a weird dead end. So we'll just move back uh, to where we were. Whatever. Not too much of a loss. It was worth a try. Come on, Greggy, let's go. Ivanka says use other weapons, uh, like what? Like I, I don't have many amazing weapons here. <laughs> like this is all I got. So there's nothing in here that uh, I think really contests what I have uh, in terms of damage output. So it is what it is. Lightning sword on light guy is not good. Cool, What? how do I tell what, what element my weapons are? <laughs> like, it was still doing the most damage out of any weapon I had. <laughs> Let's 
Let's see, which way do I want to go? But yeah, if this if this game has elemental weaponry, then it's done a very poor job of explaining that so far because uh, there's there's nowhere that I can see to to fully tell other than just like right here. But it's, isn't that my defense? Yeah, that's what that looks like. Yeah, it doesn't seem to affect anything, so... Based on the material it's made out of? Well, the Muramasa is made out of a bloody sword and the spirit of Mount Fuji, so I don't... I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's helpful. <laughs> an adamantite or ceramics or something like and it's still just out dps as everything else i have so i mean i'm not i'm not really worried about it i'm not it's, it seems to be an optional boss or a hidden boss of some kind i'm not really that torn up about not using it right now And I think the bigger issue with the Legion boss wasn't that I wasn't doing enough damage, it's that I get hit once and then half my health is gone, so it's just like not gonna... Like the whole fight is just like that. So I need, I need a big weapon in order to hit him, and it's, uh, it's just not gonna do anything, so it's fine. I'm probably underleveled. Like I'm level, I'm level 39, like whatever. so many of them. Get stun locked. There we go.
by triple square then circle. Yeah, I know I know how to do the attacks. Like I, I know what they are. I'm choosing to do square circle because it stunlocks them. <laughs> And the track, the tracking and the lock on is so bad that like doing triple square and then circle is just like not great. So <laughs> I just keep missing it. So it's like, what's the point? All right, let's see. Let us uh, hop back in the save room, get our health back. says you play three Silent Hills this month already? Yep. Got through hard mode on Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3 uh, in like three or four days. Ah. We played three Castlevanias so far. Ah. Greg, come on. My dude. basically never need to actually fight the spirits, it doesn't seem, so. Ah. Which way do I want to go this way? Go level forty. Finally. Let's see. Nothing new to make here. Oh, I forgot to make this earlier. Warhammer. Nice. For ring in forgotten memory. Hora, cool. Don't care about that. Hora and short sword. Pata, cool. Unique close combat weapon with blades on the end of gauntlets can cut and thrust, but hard to use. They just look like big. I mean, they look as easy to use as any other fist weapon in the game. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, 
Yes, please. Oh yeah, I'm cursed. I can't do stuff. I thought I saw save room for a second, got excited. This is an interesting take on the infinite corridor. It goes to show just how much more inspired the Netflix show was with, with some of these Curse of Darkness concepts than this game you ever got. Vanka says it's the only take on the Infinite Corridor. Again, the Netflix show exists, and the Infinite Corridor is more interesting in it, <laughs> so. There we go. Oh yeah, new chair. Uh, the chair stuff is so weird. Carbon steel. Is this just giving me end game crafting materials because I'm at the end of the game? Spirit of Fuji. Cool. Dark crystal. I already have a few of those. I gotta check to see the room if it updated with all the chairs. I'm sure it did. Holy man's vein. We already have some of that. I don't know if I ever crafted with that at all. Rotten memory. But yeah. I mean, I think I'm I think I'm probably close to the end of this game, but my uh, my assumption here, if if it is correct that the end that we are towards the end, my takeaway is that, yeah, Curse of Darkness, not a really interesting story, and all of the changes in the Netflix show just make it a better narrative <laughs> significantly. This is way, way improved. Like, Hector's a way more interesting character in the adaptation. Isaac, infinitely better. Saint Germain, too, is like a genuinely interesting kind of character in that show, so. I'm glad uh, Curse of Darkness exists, but I'm more glad by the fact that the Netflix show uh, made the changes it did, because it this narrative needed it. Ah! Ah. Sissy Hector, what do you mean by that? He, he was a man who was like greatly motivated by a desire to make change because he was upset with the status quo. He was an ambitious character. Just because he was outplayed doesn't mean that his ambition wasn't there. He's way improved in the Netflix show from this game, where he hardly exists as a character. Alright, let's see. Let's go down this way first. We'll loop around from the right to the left.
He was ambitious in this? No, he wasn't. <laughs> His entire character is going, you killed my girlfriend who we never met. Uh, Isaac! And then randomly running into people <laughs> and then getting beaten up. That's all he does. There's nothing interesting going on in this game's character writing. <laughs> Like, he's just not a character. <laughs> Did I see the opening cinematic of him standing on a mountain of bodies? Yeah, it would have been cool if there was, like, anything interesting going on with that. He killed some people, cool. So does everyone else in Castlevania. Like, it's not, not particularly interesting. Doesn't give him any characterization. We knew he was a general. There's something, is there stuff over there? Yeah, I guess I have to platform. Or not. Huh. Okay. Yeah, nothing to interact with. Yeah, I think the nicest thing I can say about Hector in this game in terms of character writing is that he's voiced by Crispin Freeman. Which is like, that's nice, I guess. That's like a fun, it's like a fun thing for his 10 lines of cumulative dialogue. Most of them just repeating the same thing. Massive steel door, it's shut tight. Okay, can't go in there. Yeah, I just, I can't relate. I don't think he's really badass in this. He's just a, he's like a blank slate. I will take a well-written, interesting character over a badass kind of Mary Stu, Gary Stu character any day where he exists just for the sake of plot, but... Sam says, I agree, but I think this game's pretty fun. Yeah, this game's, I mean, it's been an enjoyable time, but it, it's given me more appreciation for what they did to, like, rehabilitate the plot. Oh, this is, I like the pet evolving. Oh, she knows Uncursed, doesn't she? Oh, no, she doesn't. Yeah, I just... So, uh, Vanka says, How is he not badass? He beat Trevor, Isaac, and Dracula. Uh, I, I don't think the being in, like, in the context of this game, where everyone fights everyone, Hector is particularly notable for the fact that he does combat. Like, that, it's just not really engaging or interesting. We know nothing about him. There are no real stakes. There's no reason, no reason to be invested in his fight. It's just that he doesn't like Isaac, who is kind of nonsensically evil for no reason. It's just kind of dumb stuff. Like, it's not, there's nothing to cling on to there. It's not that badass. It's just like, oh, the fight man fought. Okay, cool. Like, whatever. I think it doesn't help that, like, this game's take on Trevor is really dumb, too, so... It's like, uh... Greg is the real badass in this game, yeah. In, ter in terms of everything that's happened so far, Greg is the, the hero of the game. Alright. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Isaac isn't evil for no reason. Gotcha. He just like wanted to enslave humanity and 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 work for Dracula because he was like a morally complex character. 
Gotcha. No. He's just he's just nonsensically evil. He's he's evil for no reason. He's a homicidal maniac. That's really it. He's he's Jokerfied. Jokerfied Castlevania villain. Alright. What am I supposed to do here? Really gone this whole way without finding a save point? God damn. All right, let's see. Do I have to brute strength this? That's what I thought. All right, perfect. We found a, uh, we found a save point. 